Good evening, welcome to We Repair. So today I'm doing a very, very quick video um, on my Asus X553M laptop. Exactly the same for the Asus X553S. Uh, we're just gonna do a very, very quick battery replacement on this one. Um, you've hopefully seen me doing a few repairs in previous videos. Uh, I've, replaced, I've, I've replaced, I've installed a new hard drive. I've replaced the screen. Uh, I've done the touchpad. I've still got to fix the charge port on the side of this thing. Uh, but in the short term, we're just going to do the battery very quickly. And we've also got a back bezel to fit as well. But I'll do that in a later video when I repair the motherboard, um, just because I have to take the whole laptop apart to get to it. So we'll quickly flip this one over. We'll get the screws up that you've seen me do in a few other videos. And then we'll quickly do our battery. It, it's not a long job. The whole thing should take less than 10 minutes. Uh, these are the sort of things that repair shops will charge you probably a minimum of an hour's labor or two and uh, they'll also charge you for the battery as well which are actually fairly cheap so new battery on ebay you're probably talking 15 20 pounds um, if you go to my favorite place in the world replace base you're probably talking 20 30 pounds they're not incredibly expensive things now batteries have come down in price a lot so you've seen me take all our screws out again. Uh, you say and I say that, I missed the back one here. So I'll just quickly do that. Uh, again, just to mention as previous videos, the back screws are longer. So when you go to put it back together, back screws are the long ones, front screws are the short ones. And I am missing a couple because this laptop has pre clearly been taken apart previously. So let's pop this open. And uh, as per previous videos, what you want to do is pry between I'll show you this as best I can. You want to pry between this uh, bezel and the palm rest. So there's already a little bit of damage over here, which you can't see. Let's just pick somewhere. So just like that. And what we're going to do is just work our way around. When you do lift this up, um, you want to be careful because there is a couple of cables that run underneath the screen for the keyboard and the palm rest, oh, sorry, keyboard and the palm rest for the touchpad and the keyboard. Uh, so there you go. Now you can hopefully see those. So what we're going to do, we're going to unhook our palm rest, if it'll let me, there we go, and pull that one out. And we'll unhook our keyboard, and that's that. And the whole palm rest and keyboard will just drop away. So that's done. Put this back up here. So here's our battery. Uh, so this should, in theory, be quite a simple job to do. In theory, we can just disconnect this, I think. So there you are. Push the little silver clip away, and then this should just pull out like that. So that's as complicated as it is to detach the battery. And then we just got to remove the four or five screws that, that connect it up. So just do those quickly. And so this is not a difficult job by any stretch of the imagination. Holding onto your screwdriver usually helps as well. So there's our current battery out of the way. So obviously this is a, an Asus one. Let me just grab our new battery. Right, so there's our replacement battery. It's just a fairly, well, it's, it's just a non-genuine, very generic battery. Um, right, so new battery. So we'll just line it up at the back here and drop it in. You want to be obviously be under this catch before you try and pop it down to always this way and then drop in. And then we'll do our screws next. Again, in theory, before we work on this laptop, uh, you should always be disconnecting everything. Oh, sorry, disconnecting the battery. So when I come back in a bit, I am going to do the charge port replacement that's up here. So we'll have to desolder that and resolder a new one in, which I already have. So I will do that as another video because it's going to take me a little bit of time. Um, I also need to refit the back bezel as well, which I'll do as part of that other video because it's going to mean taking the screen out again. So I'll just detach this, undo the screws and lift the whole piece out. Um, but it is going to mean moving the motherboard first. So if I'm going to take it out to resolder the charge port, then I'll do that at the same time. Right, so that's our screws back in. So we will line this one up here, make sure the little silver clip's pushed away, push it down and lock the little clip back in. And that's our battery reinstalled, happy as can be, ready to go. 
Um, so I will quickly just reinstall this. I'm not going to show you how to do it. Um, you've obviously seen the video of me taking it out. So it's exactly the same process in reverse. Um, you also just want to do your push your cables back in and push your little clips down and then pushing it down all the way around until you hear it click just like that close the lid up flip it back over and then the last thing we're going to do is just get all these screws back in um, so I'll just drop the corner back in I'm actually missing a couple of screws here so I'll just wing it a little bit Thankfully, there's enough in that it will hold. It's not really a problem. Um, and I will get some more of them in due course. And then our last four, just there, which are our fronts. So again, large ones to the back, short ones to the front. And two to go, and then we're there. Last one. And that's it. So there we go. So that's our battery replaced in this laptop. So just to recap, uh, undo the bottom screws, pry around the edge, lift, lift the keyboard out slightly, detach the um, keyboard ribbon cable, detach the trackpad ribbon cable, lift the whole palm rest out, four screws, lift the battery out, and then reverse to put it all back together. And it's as quick and as easy as that. Um, even with me yammering on, this whole process has taken less than 10 minutes. Um, as I say, uh, a half decent repair shop is going to charge you probably 70, 80 pounds. You can do it yourself for 10, 15 um, US dollars wise. I'd imagine you're probably looking at about $30 for a battery, probably 100, $110 for the actual repair with the battery. Anyway, if you found the, uh, the video useful, um, please drop me a like, leave me a comment. Uh, if you could subscribe, that'd be great. It really helps with the support. Um, we're, we're on the verge of a, a thousand subs now. Uh, so we're, we're nearly at that milestone, which would be great to hit it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, I hope to see you soon.